Bucky, do we have proof? Is it organized? You smell stuff, don't you? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Allison if you are new here and today we are organizing and decluttering this kitchen. Now we've been in this house now for a little over a month and I think I'm finally getting the hang of where I want certain things to be. When we first moved in it's kind of just like a guessing game of where you think you want things to go. So I like figured out where I wanted the mugs to be and our plates to be but certain things like a junk drawer or like how our spices are going to be all of that was kind of like it took some time to figure out what I actually wanted, and I put some very, very careful thought into this kitchen organization. Yes, I know I'm extra that I care so much about my kitchen being organized, but I find that it's so much easier and less stressful to be cooking, to be cleaning, to be living in your house when there's systems set up for all of this organization. Like, my spices are going to be super organized, and that's going to help me with cooking, because I'm not going to be digging and knocking over, sorry if you can hear the dog, or the washing machine. But like I was saying, if the spices are organized, cooking's easier because I'm not like knocking over a bunch of spices worried about something burning in the oven while I'm trying to make something else. Little things like that I think make like cooking, cleaning, everything I already said way easier. And honestly, I just really enjoy it. I like organizing. I like things being aesthetically pleasing. And I think organized things are aesthetically pleasing. So today I'm not actually with a full Marie Kondo, take everything out of the cabinets, but I have four specific projects I want to work on. So the first project is a spice organization makeover. I have matching spice jars. I have matching spice labels. We're going to decant all of the spices into those jars. Number two is under the kitchen sink. Desperately, desperately need some help. There's like a turntable in there that I'm not really using. I don't know what I'm doing in there, but that needs a lot of help. Project three is decluttering my mugs. We just have too many. We have a giant cabinet to store them all in, and there's still just not enough room for all of these mugs. I need to be very ruthless and go through my mug collection and cut it down a bit. And number four, I want to rework all of the drawers in this kitchen. So we now finally have space for there to be like a junk drawer in this kitchen. So I have one drawer in mind that I'm using for something else that I want to make it become our junk drawer or not like a full junk drawer, but like where we can have nail clippers and scissors and tape and batteries and just like basic things. And there's some Ziploc bags that need to be moved. So the drawers need to just be completely rearranged. So that is also, the dog is the calm right now. I was hoping it would distract him while I was filming, but I think it's backfiring and just being more obnoxious. But Drawers are number four. So if you guys are ready to start this organization project, marathon, let's begin. Now that that shelf is wiped down and cleared off, this is everything that I pulled off of it. I have no idea how it all fit there, but I think it's definitely going to be a lot more functional once I put everything in uniform jars. Now I bought this set of 36 jars off of Amazon. I'll have everything linked down below for you guys to check out. And I probably should have bought the set of 24. I had about, I think eight or 10 left over. So the set of 24 would have been plenty, but they come with a lid and a shaker set. And also it came with these two sets of labels. So you can have these little clear, simple black text, or you can have these circle stickers with black text. I went a little extra and went on Etsy and bought some custom stickers. I'll have these shared down below too. They were a little bit pricey, but I really, really enjoyed the look of them a lot more. Now the biggest complaint I saw about these stickers on the Etsy shop I bought them from is that it's a bit challenging to get them to all look uniform and to place a sticker in the same spot. So I tried a couple different techniques to make sure they lined up the same on each one. So like when they're standing side by side, one label isn't taller than the next one. And first I tried putting a piece of tape at the bottom, but it wasn't sticking to the glass jar very well. So eventually I just placed one sticker or one label on a jar, marked it off with a little post-it note, and then I tried to stick the post-it note as my little marker. That also didn't stick very well, so eventually I moved the post-it note to just being on the counter, and then I would place the jar on top of the post-it note, and then I would center it based off of that, and that was the best method for me to get them pretty uniform. They weren't all perfect, but that's completely fine. If I wanted to get them completely perfect, it would have taken a lot longer and a lot more effort, and overall this method worked best for me. Once I had placed all of the labels, I went through all of the spice jars that were laying out on the counter and I made sure none of them were expired or that they weren't basically empty and wouldn't warrant getting their own spice jar. We had a couple random spices that came in kits that we don't use that often or don't plan on repurchasing. So we have like special like rosemary salt or chili salt and we don't really plan on purchasing those again. They just came in a set. So I pulled those aside and made sure that I didn't have like a set jar just for that product. 
and then I moved into the really fun satisfying part of this project and that was finally filling up these jars. So the kit came with this little blue silicone collapsible funnel that for some of the spices were super helpful but I didn't use it for every single spice because you'd have to clean it out and dry it every single time. So for the spices that I could easily pour into the jars by hand I went with that method and then if I needed the funnel to control some of the mess I definitely went for that. Alright guys, while I love the end result of this project, you do need quite a bit of time to actually accomplish it. I spent so long on this, it would have helped a lot if I had another set of hands to go through the process with me. So keep in mind if you're going to buy these and do this project, have at least an hour or two set aside or at least have some extra hands on deck to help you with this project because it is not a just quick fix. It definitely took a lot of time and a lot of patience. And here are all of my jars filled up and labeled. You can see that Bucky came over to investigate because there were all of the spices floating around in the air and the smells were pretty interesting to him, I guess. Okay, that whole situation took me an hour plus. And it was a very tedious hour. It was not a very relaxing hour. Um, I'm very happy with how it looks. These are the ones that I am left over with. Here are the empty ones. I'm gonna toss those into recycling. And these Walmart ones are apparently just too big for these. So these were all relatively new. So they were full and they didn't all fit. So I'm gonna hold on to all of these in a little basket probably in the pantry somewhere just to refill these guys up from them when I run out. But other than that, the rest of them all fit in there. These guys are all going to go now, and these guys either won't fit into the containers or they are grinders, so I wanna just put these somewhere else. I decided to clean up all of the mess that I had made before I put everything back into the cabinet. So first, I'm taking everything out to the recycle bin that is trash, and then I'm also saving all of the leftover jars in the same box that it was delivered in. I'm just gonna store this in a closet, so if I ever wanna redo this project in the future with new spices, I can just go visit them there. And then I'm also putting all of the leftover spices that I showed earlier in this little bin I keep up in the pantry. Now here's a closer look at the small spice rack that I bought in college and was previously using. It just wasn't big enough to hold all of the spices and it was just making the organization a little more complicated. So I found this Copco spice rack from Amazon, but it was just a smidge too big. It said it was 15 inches and my cabinet is exactly 15 inches, but it actually was 15 inches and a quarter. So I'm gonna have to hold on to this and try to find somewhere else to use it. And since my husband Christian's been into woodworking recently, he actually just built me this little spice rack out of some scrap wood he had left over we actually stained this a couple of days later and it looks great and works great and it's also a perfect little custom build now is the fun part, finally putting in the finished product into the cabinet and seeing it super, super organized. I had a bit of a method to this madness. I put all of my most used spices down on the front so I could see all of the labels clearly. My less used spices are in the back, so things like cream of tartar, pumpkin pie spice, those things went all the way back there. And then things that were moderately used were down in the middle row. I also wanted to find an organization system for all of our cooking sprays and the leftover spices and grinders that weren't going to be decanted. So first I tried this little turntable I had in our pantry previously, but it didn't work out quite as I wanted it to. And so I actually took the little spice rack that I had used previously that I bought years ago in college and used that in the space to organize it. Okay, project one is complete and it's the most pleasing to look at, although it's probably well, I'm not gonna say it's the least functional thing I'm gonna do in this kitchen. The other projects will be really helpful because those are just disasters. And this was kind of because I had a little inkling in my heart to have something really pretty for my spices. But look at this. Tell me this is not beautiful. So we have Christian's handmade spice rack. Um, I need to just buy one more spice to fill in that spot because I just need to, you just have to. I put all of the extra jars that I didn't use and extra labels I didn't use back into the box that came in and I'm gonna just store that somewhere. So when I eventually get another one, I can just grab it from there. Next shelf up, I actually repurposed the smaller spice rack that I had down here before, and I put all the spices on there that wouldn't fit or that were in grinders, so that works out. We have all of our sprays, and then up there, don't talk about that. It's just some like random cooking stuff, but I am so, so happy with this. Also, I'll have everything linked down below that I used in this project, except for the spice rack, because 
we just made it. Now the next project, I don't know if I want to start on the... You know what? Let's do the mug declutter. That'll be a quick, satisfying win, and it'll counterbalance spending way too long on the spice rack. In here, I do think I'm gonna Marie Kondo it. I'm just gonna take everything out of here, at least all of the mugs. Maybe not the top ones, because the top ones are more like sentimental special mugs, but these, I can take all of them out and then go through them and only put back the ones that I love. All of the mugs are out, at least the first two shelves. We keep our tea and our like little coffee maker set up there. Um, down here, these are seasonal mugs, so I'm gonna keep all of these because they come out once a year. So those four are safe. These guys are all safe. I like these, we like these. These are Christian's mugs. This one I have from Disney forever ago and I love it, but I never reach for it anymore. I have mugs that I like more than this, so I'm gonna let this guy go. Same with this guy, I think, maybe. There's also a stain on the back and on the inside. You're a maybe, let me think about you. So these Ray Dunn mugs are super cute, but they're just really, really big, and Christian doesn't like using them, and I, like, I don't know, I don't reach for them first thing, so they are maybe pile. So is this big mug maybe pile? One of Christian's brothers gave us this for, or gave me this for a graduation present, so I feel like we kind of have to keep this. I don't know. Okay, this is a beautiful set for my mother-in-law, and I definitely am keeping this one and this one. This one I think I might let go because I, I just have enough. We just have plenty already. Do we keep three? Do I keep two? Do I keep three? Three, two, three, two, three, two. We keep three and we say bye to all of these, I think. Okay, yes. So I'm gonna be getting rid of or donating or maybe even Facebook Marketplace. I feel like these might be okay on Facebook Marketplace. The only thing is that there's some staining inside this one. I don't know. We'll see what I do with that. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mugs are leaving. Let's put these guys back in here and hopefully they all fit now. Much better, much more reasonable. They all fit in here. There are some mugs actually in our dishwasher right now. There's one that's shaped like this, like Christian loves these diner mugs. That's what we call them at least. We have one from Magnolia Restaurant in Waco, so that one's gonna go right there. But I think they should all fit now comfortably. And I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with these later. I'm gonna put them in a pile with the extra spice jars and make that a future Allison problem because we're not dealing with that right now. Project number two, done. In the books, close the doors. The light is leaving a little bit, so bear with me please. But the third project, is the one that I really don't wanna do, but I know that it'll be super great to have done, and it's all of these drawers, mostly because I didn't buy any extra organization for the drawers, and I just know that like we probably need to buy some to make it more functional, but I wanna at least get things in the drawers that they belong to. So we don't have drawers that just look like this because our wine bottle opener and our measuring cups and a knife, like random stuff all over the place, and I turned this into my makeshift junk drawer, so we need to figure that out, but ideally, I want this to be the junk drawer, so we need to take all this out, back and forth, you guys get the picture, so. I'm gonna take everything out of the drawers that are changing. This drawer up here is gonna stay the same. And then this big one holds most of our cooking utensils, but I might move some things around in here. So we will see exactly what happens with all of them. project easily done and very very quickly I honestly am kind of surprised because I was most excited about doing the spice jars and it was the most draining task because it took over an hour and it was very tedious and I've already complained enough about it but the mug declutter took what three minutes four minutes five minutes and doing all of the um 
organization in the drawers, no time at all. No idea why I've been putting it off for so long, but drawers are pretty good right now. Probably gonna tweak it a little bit more. Might get some organization pieces for it. I saw on Amazon these sets of different sized acrylic little clear bins that you can interlock and like fill an entire drawer with basically. And I thought that that would be a really fun thing to do, especially in the junk drawer, but maybe down the line we'll do that. Here is the drawers though. Okay, so our new and improved junk drawer. No organization at all besides this bowl for all of like my quote unquote girly things. So like lip balm, hair ties, nail clippers, my brush doesn't really fit in there. Yeah, it kind of does. But then we have some other things. Christian has knives around the house. We've got tape, packing tape, big scissors, lemon essential oil, and a tape measure. I'm sure this will get cluttered as time goes on. That's why I want to put all of the dividers in there so like everything has a spot. But we will see how that works out for us. Very happy to have that because it used to have all of that stuff just sitting over here on the bar cart, which now has other stuff on it. But that has been cleared off from all of my junk. And now for the other drawers. Nothing changed up here. We go down a drawer and it still looks pretty cluttered, but I moved all of our loose knives. We have a knife block that we mostly use. We have a couple other knives, some Cutco knives, a Mesa knife, some other random things. So those are all on one side. And then all of our alcoholic beverage things are on this side. So mixings, wine openers, bottle openers, wine stoppers, all of that is also in there. Next over this big drawer has all of our long utensils right here. I moved the baking things in here, apple cutters, and then all smaller items are in this big container. So that's not too, too bad. That actually looks pretty nice. Down a level, this is now our Ziploc bag drawer, which works out great because previously I couldn't fit all the different kinds of bags in different boxes inside that one drawer. The gallon size bags were in the pantry. So now they all make sense here. I also have a backup of sandwich bags over there. And the bottom drawer, I don't know if this is gonna work out. I have all of Bucky's treats and food items and like things that he'll eat stuff out of, so like his Kong, like sometimes he eats his meals out of these puzzle toys. This is his jar of peanut butter. We dubbed that jar his once we were giving him medicine every day and he was only taking it when it was covered in peanut butter. So this is his food drawer basically. And I'm a little worried that he's gonna figure out pretty simply that he can pull this and walk back with it to open it up. But we will see if that becomes a problem or not. So project number three is complete. Let's do the last one under the sink. Now, after having busted a pipe under our sink in our last apartment, I am very, very cautious with putting things under the sink and messing with this whole system, especially since this has so many tubes and lines and plugs and whatnot. Like there's a lot in here that I could break. So I'm gonna be very delicate. And I'm also probably gonna stick to primarily using this turntable. And I also wanna keep our microfiber cloths under the sink here. If you saw the laundry room organization video, you know that my kitchen rags are going to be kept in the laundry room. Watch that video for the whole explanation. I also have our Nespresso pod recycling bag here. Not sure if that's going to stay here. You know what? I'm going to just start doing this. It'll end up being how it's going to be. I can't talk through all of it. Dreams can last forever Cause I'd still dream of you and waking up together is like heaven made for two. All the other guys got cash for days. I don't really care cause all my days got your name on them. Sign your name on them. And just like that, I finished the last three projects in just about an hour. There's also a plane flying overhead. Thank you very much. So quick little tour. We have a bag of bags because everybody has one of those. We have our trash bags here. These little bins are from Ikea. I freed one up when I moved our kitchen rags into a bigger bin in the laundry room. So now I have a bin for all of our little dish squeegees, potato scrubbers, replacement dish heads, scrubbers. And this is the bin where all of our cleaning cloths will go. Most of them right now are dirty and need to be washed. And then over here is all of the cleaning products currently in rotation. So we have some Clorox wipes, our dish detergent, my current counter spray, an anti-back spray, and then our wood cleaner and glass cleaner. And then I have backups of products stuck in the middle there. So I'm gonna leave this like this. Bucky, do we have proof? Is it organized? You smell stuff, don't you? But. That is a very successful, quick organization project. Now, I really hope you haven't clicked out of the video yet because it's time for some really satisfying before and after shots of all four projects. Sign your name on him. I don't see the point of the bling, bling, bling. See no my love for a single ring with your name on it. And I ain't sorry, no. I just want to love you. Love you. 
you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to check out other organization videos on my channel. I have a whole playlist. I will link that down below for you guys to check out. I'm also going to be doing a fridge organization video really soon. I did my pantry organization the other day, laundry room recently. We just moved in, so everything is getting organized. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like, engage down in the comments, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.